All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We had some questions on the assignment from last week, so I just wanted to create this video to help some of you that might have been struggling. We were looking at phase diagrams and heating curves, so I wanted to create this video going over um, that assignment, looking at phase diagrams and heating curves to hope, hopefully um, help you answer some of these questions. Um, that were floating around out there from last week. So let's go ahead and um, take a look at this. Um, we will start um, with a look at our graph, um, first of all, with our phase diagram. Remember with our phase diagram that we're looking at pressure here on the y-axis and temperature in degrees Celsius down here on the x-axis, okay? So our question number one is, what is the boiling point of water at one atmosphere of pressure? So one atmosphere of pressure is this middle dotted line going across. Remember that boiling is changing of water from liquid to gas okay so here we're in the liquid and as we follow it over um, to this black line here where it intersects with water vapor um, vapor is of course gas so right here at this point we can follow it down to 100 and we see that the temperature is 100 degrees for the boiling point of water um, for question two, what is the boiling point of water at 218 atmospheres of pressure? So following pressure up the side here on the left, we get to 218 atmospheres. And the question was the boiling point. So again, we're going from liquid to gas over here at the critical point. And that boiling point is 374 Celsius down here on the temperature axis on our X axis at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to switch to the other tab for our questions. So you're not getting dizzy scrolling up and down. What is the melting point of water at one atmosphere of pressure? So melting, remember, goes from solid to liquid at one atmosphere right here that would be zero degrees celsius right for number three so we've got our answer of zero degrees celsius what is the pressure of the triple point of water so at the triple point okay right here on our dot that's labeled triple point our pressure is 0 0.006 atmospheres so we have 0 0.006 atmospheres for number four fifth question is what is the temperature of the triple point of water we put 0 0.01 celsius temperature of the triple point of water if we can switch back over here to look at um, the graph Briefly, um, the temperature going down from the triple point is 0 0.01 degrees Celsius down here. Um, question six, define the triple point. Well, the triple point, if you remember from our notes or lecture from last week, all three states of matter exist at the same time. So solid, liquid, and gas are all present at the triple point. Question number seven, the gaseous phase of water is labeled how? The gaseous phase of water, we are looking over here in this quadrant. This is the gas and water vapor is our gas. So that would be the answer there for number seven. It's labeled as water vapor, okay? Question eight, does the gaseous phase of water occur at high or low pressures? Um, we look, um, gaseous phase, it expands out here or opens up at higher pressures, okay? 
Um, and we really see that fork just open up there. We also have um, the follow-up question to that, which is number nine, does the gaseous phase of water occur at high or low temperature? Typically higher temperatures for gaseous phase, um, as we see moving over on our x-axis, these temperatures are higher as it fans out between 100 and 374 really fans out there. So we are going to next move down to our heating curve. And this is where I had some questions on the heating curve and looking at this. So we may need to um, revisit our heating curve with the graphic from the PowerPoint. Um, and you can do that in Google Classroom if you want that visual may be of help to you. At what temperature does the substance boil um, for number 10? So boiling is occurring here at 55 approximately. Notice we're between the 50 and the 60 lines on the graph here. So about 55, we're flatlining again. That flat line is representing our liquid and our gas, both being present at the same time, but the liquid is transitioning to gas, okay, is what the heat is being used for there. So 55 is our answer for number 10. Um, number 11, at what temperature does the substance freeze? So the substance freezes down here at um, this flat line approximately um, zero degrees because it's relatively the same after zero degrees. Um, the melting point is also zero degrees because we're transitioning from solid to liquid um, about right here as well. What is the condensing point? Okay, our condensing point, remember condensation is gas going to liquid. So our condensation point is coming back down from gas, cooling it into liquid. This is liquid formation here um, at C. So again, it's going to be 55 um, degrees Celsius for the condensing point. Number 14, what phases of matter are at point A? Point A is a solid that's trying to melt right here. Um, and then once it gets all melted to liquid, it's going to begin to climb. So at point A, we have both solid and liquid phases present um, at the same time. Okay. Number 15, what phase of matter is at point B? So at point B, it's kind of hard to see here on the graph, but it's this sloping long line. Um, this is line B. And what is present here is all liquid. The liquid is going from cool down here at the bottom to hot up at the top of that sloping line. So liquid is at point B. Um, number 16, what phase of matter is at point D? So if we look at our graph on point D, we're at the point of having superheated steam over here because this is the transition point from water to gas. So if we get to this point where it's sloping up, all of that gas is being heated at that point. So it's becoming superheated steam. So I put steam or water vapor here um, on our answer key. And then question 17, what is happening at point C? So at point C, um, depending on which direction you're going, if you're applying heat or if you're cooling, but we're going from liquid to gas transition at point C. So this is our liquid to gas transition, as is pointed out here with our answer, liquid is changing to gas. And finally, number 18, what is happening at point A? Well, at point A on the graph, 
we have a flat line. This is our solid melting. So we have the melting process occurring at point A. Okay, to answer that question. So hopefully that's going to help you um, with going over that and taking a look at some of those responses. Um, so hopefully you're all squared away, or if not, you can go back and rewatch this or rewatch um, the lecture um, from week one, day two, um, to catch up on those. Because there's a nice visual within that lecture that shows you the different stops on our heating curve, okay? So let me know if you have further questions. Hope the video helped with these questions that were brought forth from this assignment. And we'll see you soon.